I didn't really want to do a video about this issue because uh, I simply found no interest in it and uh, we haven't seen uh, the entire thing foiled to the point where we know the entire story nor have we heard any people from WWE or any other wrestlers say something about it but I, I wanna people are now getting all upset and this is somewhat a response to Big to the Tony uh, who made a video and it's no disrespect to him um, he's a very straightforward guy and I appreciate that we need we need people who are straightforward but I think we also need to be sometimes a little bit just back off and see the whole picture because yeah there was an incident in Europe with CM Punk where he apparently didn't dress properly Undertaker and called him on it and CM Punk said well what about John Cena and people are from that I believe making the assumption that John, that CM Punk is in the infamous WWE doghouse and that he is being punished and I don't really get why yeah he lost the title this Sunday I can see that as people deeming that well CM Punk got punished so he dropped the title in a pretty short match but then to go on and say actually there were rumors and speculations and other wrestlers anonymous wrestlers have said that they believe and they were under the impression that no matter what happened in Europe that the Undertaker was gonna win the title at Hell in a Cell so that means the Undertaker taking the title from CM Punk that is no punishment because he was supposed to take the title from CM Punk that very night and we also have to take in consideration that we have no proof whatsoever on uh, CM Punk being in a doghouse I don't really get if he was supposed to lose, lose the title then he lost the title and that's it being in the doghouse so now people I'm gonna spoil tonight's Smackdown for like 10 seconds so if you don't wanna hear me spoil it because this there is an argument I have here so don't listen because it was like this at tonight's Smackdown CM Punk defeated Batista. Yes, it was via count up, but he still defeated Batista and he outsmarted Batista. And Jim Ross, prof he very profoundly said that CM Punk outsmarted and out strategized something like that. Batista. And if that's, if that's not singing CM Punk's praises and doing him a favor and for God's sake beating Batista in, in a one on one match. Remember, remember now since Batista returned he has ran over Randy Orton a former champion he's ran over Chris Jericho he's ran over uh, Big Show he's ran over Kane but CM Punk defeats Batista so I don't that's the taping was just two days after the pay-per-view so so how can you possibly say that being in the doghouse for me we can therefore just strike and uh, erase the fact that he was punished at Hell in a Cell and we can also erase the, the claim that he's supposed to be in the doghouse. Uh, he's also received a return match for uh, bragging rights, which is a fatal four way along with Rey Mysterio and Batista. And there is a good explanation for this too. People say that CM Punk was punished by having the match with Undertaker put first on the card and have him drop the, the, the title. That might be the case, I don't know. But if he was supposed to drop the title anyway, it doesn't really matter. I believe his paycheck is still about the same and I can very well see that that match CM Punk and Taker wasn't supposed to be for the main event anyways why because that match was 10 minutes CM Punk kicked out of Undertaker's last ride very few wrestlers do that but CM Punk put up a very good fight for the short time being and he kicked out of the last ride powerbomb and then he he went on to lose the match yes but that was a tombstone pile driver. He wasn't forced to submit, which is way more um, degrading than to be pinned by a tombstone pile driver, which more or less every damn wrestler in the WWE history has yeah, ha has done. But he didn't have to tap out. Uh, so that's a, a, a very good way to prove that he did, was not punished. And the Undertaker, yeah, the match was short, ten minutes. 
but that's another story because Undertaker's health as we can see is extremely poor his knees are extremely poor and I don't understand why they put the title on him but they did and because he can't work a full schedule he has terrible knees after his 10 minute match with CM Punk he staggered out of the ring more or less had to crawl to the back he couldn't walk properly and that's also the reason why CM Punk didn't get the one on one return match that's why they put him in a fatal four way because that lightens the Undertaker's work schedule and in the ring if there's four competitors he doesn't have to put it put as much effort in the ring as he would have had to do if it was like one on one match that's that's simply it also put a note that it was Vince McMahon making the match because he wanted to make it more exciting and they did it as a way to diminish Theodore Long not CM Punk so people know this is a rumor this is a rumor don't be this shallow fans that just because you hear a rumor you jump all over WWE and telling them to fuck off and etc etc this is not this is not directed to any specific person because there are a lot of fans whenever they get the chance to jump all over WWE fuck them for this fuck them for that for some unbased unba rumor there is, there is no substance to that rumor and people just jump all over WWE telling them to fuck themselves for something something that's just an assumption that isn't true and that's just a rumor taken out of proportion. So no, CM Punk is in no doghouse whatsoever. Uh, as I can see, he defeated Batista tonight and he is going on to get a title match at Bragging Rights. Uh, how's that being in the doghouse? And since when is losing to The Undertaker uh, <laughs> viewed as being in the doghouse? Uh, never. That would make every damn wrestler in the WWE history as well, being in the doghouse. Thank you for watching and feel free to share your opinions. And feel free to give me, if you feel that I, I should discuss something in particular, just feel free to, to, to tell me. I have a list of things I put up and that I do when I have the time over. I have the TNA Knockouts versus the WWE Divas comparison as an example to a request or someone wanting me to do a video. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.